Hey everyone. Today we're going to be starting up one of my f absolute favorite games of all time. And I do not say that lightly. <laughs> I absolutely love Metroid Prime. The first one. The second one was good, but it was a little too brutal with its difficulty in my opinion. The third one was also good, but just really linear. The first game, however, is just perfect. 2002. And the early 2000s were so good. That, sh that sound should be alright. <laughs> I'm very consistent with how I finish the game, 94% every time. Oh, and I guess I lied at some point. I usually always keep my first file. Just for the memories, really. But uh, there's no way I finished the game in six hours the first time through. This looks a little better, but that's on, that's on hard. I'm gonna go ahead and get rid of that hard mode file. I also haven't played this in... I don't even know how long. It's been hard. Because it shouldn't, it shouldn't take too long for the muscle memory to come back. I'm also, I'm gonna turn it up just slightly, because it seems really quiet. Oh, I should have read that, whoops. Oh, I'm excited. I'm really excited. It's been a long time since I played this game. I don't even remember the last time I played it. It's been years. I probably replayed the third game sooner than I've replayed this one. Oh, Rumble's on. I'm gonna turn that off. I keep forgetting this controller has a Rumble. It's so weak at this point. Because <laughs> so I've had this thing for like... <sighs> at least a decade. Good old Metroid music. The Prime Trilogy came out on the Wii U Z Shop, but I just... I don't like the trilogy. I have no interest in getting it. I like the old GameCube games better. Oh, that's right, C-Stick is for... L is strafe, B is jump. Can't double jump yet. First game around... Can I uninvert that? Because <laughs> that's going to get annoying. So let's see... That's fine. This is Max? Yeah, that's fine. Wait, which axis is that? Rumble off. Yeah, there we go. That's how I like it. Okay. Also, this is cool. You can turn these off. That's essentially hard mode, because you can't see any of your stuff. Just your health. And then helmet opacity. How do you pronounce that word? I don't even know. You can turn that off if you want. But I like having it on just because. And this, I don't even know. Turn that off. Alright. Also, you can scan pretty much everything. You cannot reach your gunship. And I love going through and just seeing all the all the different things that there are to scan. 
red things are generally important. Force field activation switches are now online. Orange things are usually just text. Force field blocks to the entrance. Something nearby must be able to deactivate it. Just standard stuff. But then there's a lot of things just lying around that are really interesting. X, I think, is Morph Ball, yep. Yeah. Y is Missiles. Yep. Z is Map, I think, yeah. And that's everything. C Stick changes your weapons, we don't have any other weapons right now, and the numpad changes your visors. I could have sworn there was stuff to scan just all over the place here. Yeah, like all this, on the wall. Deck gamma, reactor core, and propulsion. Current status, environment normal. Deck alpha, emergency evacuation area. Current status, environment unstable. Some stuff is going down here. Whoops. Repressorization, repressorization, successful. <laughs> I like to scan every little thing. I like all the text that they put into this game. I actually learned a good chunk of my vocabulary by playing this. Space pirate, death caused by severing of the spinal cord. The creature's entry. Parasite, interstellar vermin, travel in swarms. Indigenous to Talon 4, a single parasite is harmless to larger life forms. However, they tend to travel in larger groups, swarming over potential prey. Such swarms can be dangerous. High levels of radiation detected. Ah, uh, just because I'm used to it in like every Metroid game, I'm going to turn that back on. <laughs> the invert. Oh, I didn't actually confirm that, did I? Still didn't. Hang on. Okay. Death caused by severe flame damage to exoskeleton. All these guys got armor. <laughs> Incredibly large muscle structures surrounding the jaw area. Fluid sacs containing acid are also detected. Just big old beastie beasts. Phase on batch, that. Destination tech beta. Same thing. See, so yeah, a lot of that is just the same. I am never happy. <laughs> Escape pod entrance. It's already been jettisoned. Six hours prior to your arrival. All of these have been done already. Caused by acidic burns to body, chemical type unknown. He's being eaten. That guy, still alive. That's not what I meant to scan. <laughs> A mouth-like orifice, most likely used for birthing offspring. Delicious. Weak life signs detected. Imprints of large bite marks can be seen on the exoskeleton. Let's just put him out of his misery. They can shoot you. Yeah, none of these guys had a fun time. <laughs> Talon 4 Research Command Center. Launched. This is probably a missile or a bomb. Yeah. Get out. Oh, charge your beam. Gotcha. Is 
think a missile would work, but apparently not. Scan it first, because there's only so many of these, and they don't count as uh, scan targets anymore after you've used them. Walk into map station holograms to download a map of the area you're in. Frigid exterior, hull stable and fully functional. That's good. Top 4 ground zero area secure. Crater radiation readings normal. Parasitic infestation has been detected in the ventilation systems of Dex Gamma and Delta. Two Parasite Queen speci specimens have become volatile on Deck Beta. All security personnel should report to the biotech research area. Yep. They've been doing research. Research and experiments. I really liked the map in Metroid Prime games. It was nice. <laughs> Kinda hope they go back to that. I just hope the next Metroid game isn't something like Other Rev again, because that game was awful. Okay, I think there's turrets here somewhere. A lot of this is just going to be muscle memory, because, like I said, I haven't played this game in forever. Oh yeah, and that exclamation point on the left. That's your uh, hazard meter, the closer you get to something. It has its uses. Energy conductor vent has been damaged. Use caution when approaching the arcing electricity. Specimen containment breach on deck beta. All crew report for lockdown. We need to be a morph ball anyway, so that works. The hell button, please. Low life science detected. This creature appears to be in a state of stasis hibernation. Severe internal damage detected. Yeah, strafing is the main thing in Mission Prime. Also health. Small energy. Ten units of energy. You can use your charge beam to drag him towards you. Standard Metroid. So yeah. Phazon is the name of the game in the Prime series. Parasite egg and pupa stage. This tough exoskeleton protects it from its mother's acidic embryonic, embryonic flu fluid. Bleh. Fluid sacs in the mouth enlarge after mutation. This allows for increased production of corrosive bile. Herapus is quite resilient, able to resist the attacks of many present predators. Combat mutation applications are complete. The primary legs of this creature possess galvanized tips, allowing it to penetrate any known alloy. Entrance. Oh, I already shot the door. Couldn't see it. Ballistic support needed in specimen block F. I think in here we got. No, it's a door. I don't want the turret. Auto defense turret. Use missiles to break outer casing. Or charge beam. Also, you can kind of see that little outer ring. Oh, only when you're locked onto something. Oh! Those are missiles. Missile pickups. I don't remember if the 25 varieties in this game, it might just be the 5s. Could be wrong though. So another missile. Another turret. 
yeah, you can see that ring when I'm locked onto something and then there's a little charge meter. That's always helpful. Also this. Pirate lore. And this one is very easily missable because you can never come back here. Log that. Zebus has fallen. All ground personnel are presumed dead. Either killed by the hunter clad in metal or in the subsequent destruction of the underground facilities. Our research frigates Orphean... Sir... Whatever that says. And Val Paragon were in orbit at zero hour and managed to retreat. Frigate Orphean is now docked at Vortex Outpost. Orphean's cargo appears to have a 100% survival rate. Metroids are healthy. Without restricted feeding schedules due to uncertain supply status. We are ready to begin research on the Metroids and other promising life forms. Security status remains at Code Blue. No signs of pursuit from the Hunter. Hee hee hee. And here we are. <laughs> Messing with Phazon. Oh yeah, you could have scanned this and caused the turret to uh, just deactivate, basically. Parasite larva. We will never encounter them at large, thankfully. Plasmite. Same with these guys. Or these things from uh, Super Metroid. Or, actually, I think a lot of Metroid games had those. My eyes hurt. Incredible strength and body mass increase when exposed to phase on batch of that. Phase on batch of that increases the acid productions in the saliva ducts of parasite larva. I'm not going to read, like, each individual number. <laughs> Press the elevator switch. Pain tolerance levels of 13% in holding. have a party or something? That guy is not injured. Still can't scan them though. <laughs> They're still not super dangerous. They do take a fair amount of punishment though. So they got that going. Also our little radar on the top left lets us know where enemies are. Shriek Bat. Plated Parasite. Toxic. War Wasps. Oh, I hate War Wasps so much. We'll be meeting a lot of these creatures on the planet. Zoomer. Ice tree bit. Empty. Changed every other lunar cycle. Using improper codes may result in turret activation. Construction detected in reactor ventilation system. Engineering crew report to freight lift corridor immediately. Oop. Airflow is restricted. Unusual thermal reading should be reported to the deck engineer on duty. If you press the jump button while strafing, you'll do a side dash, which is helpful for dodging things. Death caused by severe lacerations to the abdomen. So 
they probably bled out. There's an energy tank on this elevator later in the game. Actually, I think it's in this room right here. Because you have to bust, bust down these doors to get through the crashed elevator. Alright. Minimal injuries. Maximum firepower recommended. Please insert metallic spear to open the door. Death caused by removal of internal organs. Ugh. What happened to him? <laughs> insert morph ball. Did you have to scan these? I don't remember. No. Severe lacerations to the abdomen. Poor guy that had his frickin' organs sucked out or something. <laughs> then here is a bunch of turrets. I'm really stingy with my missiles. I apologize in advance for that. A lot of things I prefer just to use the charge beam for. Like this, missile pickups. Increases, or restores five missile rounds. What happened to these guys? <laughs> Status dead. This creature looks like it struggled to get through the door. Death caused by cranial trauma. Death caused by severe laceration. Subject looks like it has been partially eaten. Death caused by acid burns to the face. That's why, that's another thing I always liked about Metro Prime, it's not super kid-friendly. <laughs> save point. You save your game. You also restore your health, just like they always have. We actually have our first boss coming up in there, so I'm going to cut it. One second.